ladies and gentlemen we have good news we have bad news bad news is where i'm at i'm snowed in the roads are covered can't really go anywhere the good news is we get to play pokemon legends arceus all day what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back bringing you guys part five from my playthrough on pokemon legend arceus for the nintendo switch so guys in the last episode we got started with the second area the crimson Mirelands, and in today's video we're going to be facing off with our second noble pokemon and moving on to the third area in the game you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But for today's video, like I said, we're going to be finishing up the Crimson Mirelands, head into the Noble Pokemon and Versnip. But before we actually do that, I want to switch up something in my party. But this guy's going to actually talk to me, be like, hey, yo, you got to do this, blah, 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 blah. But we actually have to ride on Ursaring, our brand new rideable Pokemon. I'll show it to you guys real quick. Right here, look at this thing. We have to actually ride on this Pokemon to send out the person who's lost. So anytime I see blue, that is the pathway I want to go. But like I said, I want to switch up something in my party real quick because something that I want to do is fight a bunch of Gravelers today. And the reason I want to fight a bunch of Gravelers is because they drop the rock or the material that makes Scyther evolve in the Cleaver. You guys know I want Cleaver on my team. So we're going to be trying to pull that out today and maybe get an evolution for him today. So we need something to just tackle on uh, those Geodudes or the Gravelers. So what Pokemon should I use? You could use Carnivine. Level 20 has some grass. Oh, he has absorb though. If anything better, do we have anything better? We have a Pikachu. What about Roselia here? 22 with only absorb. Come on, yo. We got to have something better. Barbroach, what are you? 22 with water pulse. Kind of digging you. I'm kind of digging you. We might have to throw you on the squad. Anything over here that we can use? Psyduck, level 16, 15. Yeah, not really happening. Weasel, yeah, level four. That's definitely not happening. So I think Barbroach is going to be our guy to take out Gravelers with. Or Tangela only has stun sport. Never mind. I thought he was going to be a good pick. And you guys want to be our Graveler killer? Badoo? Maybe? No. <laughs> We're going to go with Barbroach. Barbroach definitely seems like he has the best move to actually take out these uh, Gravelers. So I'm going to be rocking out with him. But let's get rolling here. I got plenty of Pokeballs. Do I need anything else? Let me check my... Let me make sure that I have space in my box. Because you don't want to go somewhere without space in your box. And that's exactly what we don't have. Is space in our box right now. I'm going to put this uh, Stardust away. I'm going to put... What else should I throw away? Springy Mushrooms. I'll throw them all away. I'm not really throwing them away. I'm kind of just putting them in my box for now. We'll throw the spoiled Apricorns out there. Um, what else? What else does Jeans want to move? Uh, soot fruit root. Yeah, get that thing out of my face. And then this. So now we have plenty of space in our storage. Let's get moving along here. Let's go. So, like I said, we have to use the Earth Ring right on its back to actually find out where we have to go to. Let me actually get all this stuff. Is, that, is there a Pokemon in there? It was shaking. God dang it. We're just going to run from that. <laughs> I just wanted the material. I just want the material. But while we're hopping on this uh, Earth Ring's back, it has a little, like, color marker in front of it. It's either going to be green, yellow, or blue. When it is blue, it means we're going the right way. It means we're going the right way. But I kind of already know which way to go. But this is what you guys have to do. You legit just have to follow this thing and make your way all the way around. So I'm actually going to hop off here and keep collecting materials. Because you guys know I love to collect my materials and all that good stuff. I'm going to go here. And I actually missed that one. That's a little whack. Let me get this one, though. Let me get this one, though. And then back on the earth room. Let's get rolling here. Give me this, get that caster fern, and then we got some rock up here. But where the scent says, it says it's over there. So we just have to loop all the way around these rocks. So what I'm going to do is just keep looping. You guys already know the deal. There's that tangle over there. And we out of here. We out of here. So in order to get to that area, I believe it's like all the way up here. Yeah, it's up here. Or no, it's somewhere around here. We just have to use the scent to kind of find it. But we just have to... Bro, get out of my face. We just have to keep using earth ring. Keep running around. Can you move out the way, buddy? I kind of want to... Okay, never mind. He's trying to fight me. I wanted that stone right there. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. We'll get it later. We will get it later. So let's just keep moving ahead here. Keep moving towards our goal and rolling out from there. We'll get that. And onward, jeans. Onward. So up to the left, there should be an opening. This path should kind of open up. And we should be able to go up and towards the thing. But there is a gravel here. And you guys know I want to fight all these gravels. They have a slight chance of dropping the item that I want. And if I can get this item, that would be absolutely amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. Because I can evolve my Scyther into Cleaver instantly. And, yo, that's perfect. Yo, Barbaroche takes these things out in one hit. And I can level up, level him up, and eventually evolve him into Wish Cash. And we didn't even get our item, which is whack. God dang it, yo. I really wanted my item. <laughs> it's going to definitely take a couple tries. But there's, like, a path up here that, uh, that, uh, what's it called? That gravel just spawn like crazy. So it's going to be really good for us. The Koala gets to level up. Let's keep moving ahead here. Any more Gravelers over here? Any more gravels? Just a bunch of whack Geodudes that we don't want to fight. How you doing, Geodude? But it's good to actually fight the gravels. 
The gravel just gives some mean XP, but as you guys can see, this is where the path opens up. Let's head right up to it. Let's do it. This rock is shaking right here. I really do not feel like battling that Pokemon. So I'm just going to keep moving along. Even though I want the materials, and you guys know I love collecting all the materials, we're going to keep it moving. We're definitely going to keep it moving here. But I could actually uh, do this side quest right here. I think we did it in the last episode, but it, did, it didn't turn out too well. It didn't turn out too well. But actually, I got to check something on my other monitor real quick. I'm going to make sure I'm recording on this other side. I am. Awesome. So I record two things. Some, something for a uh, thumbnail. So works well. So I had to make sure I was recording there. We make it to our new area over here. And I'm just going to keep getting my stuff. Keep doing it that way. And do I have a Haunter? I might not have a Haunter on this one. Like I said, I have two playthroughs. If you guys want to check out my other playthrough. Jeans25 on Twitch. Name is right on the face cam. All that good stuff. Oh, I see a Stunky over here. And I have to catch one too. I'll try to catch this one. I know you don't see me, Stunky. You definitely don't see me. Yeah, you don't see me. Let me try to catch this dude. Should be a good throw. Of course, he sees me because this guy over here is doing work on me. Who's hitting me? Poor Krogong. So we'll catch a Stunky in another situation. This one definitely sees me. Um, I am going to head over this way. Right to this middle here. And yo, there's an Alpha Stunk Tank here. Get out of my face. Do not feel like battling that thing. I'm rolling out here. But Oh, yo, there's a hip out on. I do not have a hip out on. Do not have one, yo. I would love to catch this thing. Come here, buddy. Dude, if I can catch this hip out on, that'd be awesome. What's he doing? Can I throw like a berry here? Maybe get him a bit closer. Come on, yo. I know you see it. Yeah. Come here, dude. Bop. Come on, yo. That better catch him. That'd be awesome. Add him to my decks. God dang it. We're not fighting that thing. That thing will rip on me. That thing will rip on me. But there is a Stunky over here, and I definitely have to catch him. I definitely have to catch him. We do not have him in our Pokedex yet. He's hanging out over here. Let's go rock out. Let's catch him. Plus, we're going to have to catch a bunch of Pokemon, because in order to go through the third place in this game... Oh, uh, what's it called? You need to be third star rank. Oh, I just smoked that thing. No way I think no way I think sees me. Of course it sees me. No, do I catch the old fashioned way? No. Because then I'm gonna have to fight a 2 one one Then I'm gonna have to fight a 2 one one There's a haunter there. Switch my Pokemon. Well, but give me that. But yo, I need a stunky. That's stunky right there. Dude, oh my lord! Why is every Pokemon attacking me? I can't deal with this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Is there someone chasing me down? There's a Haunters over there. I would love to get Haunters. Who sees me? Leave me alone, dude. Am I good? Please don't tell me I died of poison. Okay, poison's gone. I was gonna say. Let's see if I can actually catch this Haunter. He's from the back here, and that could be extra points. Just give me a chance. Let me hit the... Oh my god, dude. Every single Pokemon sees me. Like I said, I have to go catch a Stunky. I have to catch a Stunky for you guys. I swear, yo, if you hit me, yo, can you leave me alone? I'm just throwing this thing. Can I hit that? Thank you. Can we catch it? Can we catch it so I can move on? Please, catch this donkey. Yes! Awesome. We caught the donkey. I'm out of here. I'm not done dealing with these haunters, man. Actually, you know what? I'm going to catch this one the old-fashioned way. I know you don't see me. You do, don't you? I hit him with the Pokeball. Come here, yo. We're fighting. Please be a 1v1. If two pops out here, I got to run. How many is there? One... Alright, cool. 1v1. He's gonna put me to sleep. Get out my face. Get out my face. But yo, we're chilling here. Definitely wanna catch one here. Add it to my thing. I could go for a quick attack or I could go uh agile style here. Which I will do. See if I can get another turn. We are slumped. And we get to go first. Sleep works different. I guess like some turns we, we can't go. He's gonna take some damage to Ember. I am gonna hit him again with an Ember. Regular one this time. And then I'm gonna go for the catch after this. Level 28. This thing's high. This thing's real high. Venishok's gonna pop out here. Bro, why so much damage? This game is ridiculous. This game is ridiculous. And I'm going to throw out Scyther here. Let me just drop a lovely little, uh, lovely little Pokeball. And hopefully I can catch it. Hopefully I can just catch this thing and keep, keep moving on here. Because, you know, these Pokemon are giving me a tough time. They for sure are giving me a tough time. This thing's level 28. But before we burst a noble Pokemon, we shouldn't maybe get it to a higher level. Look at that. Easy catch. Awesome. We call it a Haunter. Add him to my decks. Lovely. Number caught one. Dope. But before we actually move on, you guys already know, yo. We got to heal up my boy. Yo, this game is phenomenal. If you guys haven't picked up this boy or this game, yo, I can't believe I only have one drive. I have to craft more. But if you guys haven't picked up this game, highly recommend. This game is phenomenal. It is so much fun. I'm having a blast playing it on my uh, YouTube playthrough and on my Twitch playthrough. Definitely tons of fun. But here's the area that we have to go to. I actually want to get this material first. And we just have to talk to this lady right here. Hey, yo, how you doing? And as you guys can tell, she has a trash can full of those bombs next to her. And the last time we used those bombs was when we burst our first noble Pokemon, which was Scizor. So... 
when I was first playing through this, I was just like, yeah, we're definitely going to burst Noble Pokemon very, very soon. And the Noble Pokemon battle, I think it's better than the Cleaver one. It's a it's a lot more intense, I feel like. The the Pokemon that we burst actually uses some cooler moves and all that good stuff. And they they they, they it just looks cool. You guys are just going to have to wait to see it. But as I said earlier, we're going to have to go up to another path. And there's a bunch of Gravelers here. So I cannot wait to face off with the Gravelers. And I'm going to hope I can get that item for Cleaver. Because if I can get that item, I can legit instantly evolve. Kind of just like a stone. Kind of like a fire stone, lightning stone, or any of the stones that when you use it on an Eevee. You just give it to him and he evolves instantly. So maybe we'll have Cleaver by the end of today's video. Because Cleaver is absolutely amazing. His base speed is super, super high. And he hits like a truck. He hits so hard. Really, really hard. But the next area in this place is or in this game is amazing. It's a beach area, so you guys better be hyped for that. That's definitely going to be a next episode kind of thing. But still, hopefully we can unlock it by the end of today's video. And give you guys a little uh, a little showcase to it. But what we have to do is actually make our way up this mountain. Can I hop over this thing? This is what I did in my playthrough. Or in my Twitch thing. Look, I just hopped over the rock. I said, yo, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Because we have to make our way up this way. Towards uh, this ridge. And there should be a way. I forget, how the heck did I get up here? We have to make our way to this diamond settlement. There's like a pathway somewhere. There's for sure a pathway. How did I do? I think I looped all the way around, didn't I? I think I looped all the way around. It was kind of tough. We have to make our way up to the diamond settlement. Actually, we might have to go back over this thing. Because this leads us back to the beginning right here. This leads us straight back to the beginning. As you guys can tell, we were here before. This is just the golden lowlands. And up there is the temple. I'm going to actually head back here. I'm trying to remember which way I went. I think I went this way. Can I hop back over this rock, please? <laughs> yo, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. You got it. You got it. Yes, sir. Yo, Weird Deer can make his hops any day of the week. So I think what I want to do here is loop all the way around this bog lane right here. Or is this the way? Nope. I think I want to loop all the way around. Should be a way. I think it's up here. Yep, it's up this pathway. And we can get rolling here. I don't, I don't know if Weird Deer can run through this. He can indeed, yo. That's lovely. <laughs> that is lovely. But yeah, if you make your way up this path, this is the correct way to go. And look, this is how I know I'm going the right way. Like I said, yo, tons of gravelers, yo. Tons of gravelers. We're going to pull out our barb roach. What's good, graveler? I need my item from you. I forget what it's called. It's called some, like, it's some rock. It's some rock. It's some rock. But luckily, I, I had a water Pokemon like barb roach over here. He can take out these dudes in one shot. No problem. Drop your rock. Drop the rock. What I get? Nothing. Yo, he dropped no items. Get out of my face. But this is going to be good XP for the squad. Really good XP for the squad. I feel like Barbroach is going to get a high level here. Just by tackling on a bunch of Gravelers. But I think it took me like 10 to actually get it. Which isn't too bad. Which isn't too bad. So every Graveler I see, up until I get it, we're going to be slapping it up with Barbroach. Give me the item. I'm not getting one item from this thing. Give me an item, dude. Give me an item. Come here, Graveler. Run it. Run it. Oh, there's a ride on two to here. Oh, two ride outs. I gotta catch one for my Pokedex. Run it, Graveler. Run it. If I don't get this item, I'll be upset. Because I really want a cleaver by the end of today's video. There you go. Dump on him. Get out of my face. Out of here, Graveler. Drop the item. <gasps> is that the item? It is! The Black Argurite. That is the exact item we are looking for. We got it. We can evolve Scyther at any time. We're gonna do it in a little bit. We'll definitely do it in a little bit. Definitely wanna get some more levels up here. And let me actually catch a ride out because I do not have one. Sorry, Barb Roach. You are never gonna be used again. Actually, you might be used again to evolve into uh, the Wish Cash. But that one sees me. So I'm going to actually throw a Pokeball at this one. Then if not, I'll catch it old-fashioned way. Yo, this thing's using Rock Slide. Get out of my face. Caught that one. That's cool. I'll use this. And we'll dip out here. So we caught a Rhydon. That is wonderful. Add him to our decks. We got the Gravel Rock that we needed. And now we can just keep moving on here. Yo, chill on me. Chill on me, Rhydon. Yo, I think he used Rock Slide on me. I was not expecting that. Here's some more Gravelers. I could actually take him out, but I really don't feel like it. I really don't feel like it. Let's just keep getting these uh, minerals here and keep racking it in. Keep racking it in, baby. More Geodudes. Do not feel like dealing with them. Guava levels up to 28. And we got a move master, which is amazing. This is amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And there is a wisp up here. Oh, no, that was not a wisp. Why that look like a wisp right here? These little bogwort things. Bogworts. <laughs> we can see what's up here. Onyx. I think we already called it Onyx. Did we catch an Onyx? Oh, it's an Alpha Onyx. Never mind. We ain't catching that thing. We're not catching nothing, but I do want this tumble stone over here. The sky tumble stone. It's really, really useful. It's kind of an item that, oh, that I don't get a lot of. So I'll get that and then I'll dip out of here. Later. Hey, we out of here. Hey. <laughs> Hop off the top of that and we make our way to a brand new like area. There's these huts over here. And as you guys can tell, they're looking new. What's that? That's a cricket tune over there. Actually, I want to kill it with Kawava. I would love to get the XP. As you guys can tell, like those haunters were kind of like the same level as us. So I'd rather, you know, take things out and get on a higher level. 
Break between level 24. See, we're solid in like the wild Pokemon area, which is nice. Flame is going to poke. Wheel. Get on out of here, Krikatoon. We'll take that XP all day. So our Scyther should actually level up. It's amazing. 26. And I'm ready to evolve that thing whenever. I'm ready to evolve him whenever. Whenever I feel like it. Get all these berries. And like I said, there's a new little settlement right here. And I feel like this is going to come into play a lot later. This is the diamond settlement. So like I guess the diamond kind, kind of settles here. There is a side quest here. I'll definitely grab it later. But for now, I want to keep moving on with the main mission. We have to keep trudging along here and keep moving towards our goal. There's a person right here. Probably does something. I don't really feel like talking to it. And a bunch of Rhydons, which is pretty cool. Hello, Rhydons. How you doing? How you doing, Rhydons? And I wish we had a water Pokemon, which we will get in the next area, which is awesome. But we'll take these rocks right here. We'll keep ripping up on this. And there is a Pokemon in a tree. And I kind of want to see what it is, just in case it's something new. And no, it's a Burmy. It's a Burmy. I'm going to KO it, though. I'm definitely going to rip up on it. Level 19. Get out my face. Get out my face. And I realized something. This is actually something I should show you guys. I realized something while playing through this game. I was wondering uh, how to learn moves. I was really wondering how to learn moves. And I realized if you come to your uh, Pokemon thing right here, if you get up on the D-pad, you go over to Pokemon and you can hit change moves. So any move that he learned before, you can reteach it to him whenever you want. So I can actually teach this thing Swift. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. But I want to actually keep the moves. And say we get rid of Flame Wheel, then we can just get it back whenever we want. Really, really cool. I really do like it. So if you guys are wondering on how to change moves, that is exactly how you do it. But for now, we're just going to keep moving up on this mountainside. There is a bunch of Sky Tumblestone over here, which I really want to get. Uh, what is that? That's some iron ore. I thought it was like a Pokemon. Dude, what is going on here? But I'll collect all the iron chunks that we can, and I want all this right here. Come here, and there's a Carnivine over there. I was wondering what that Pokemon was. Paris is nothing too new, so I really do not need any of this. And we'll keep rolling out. But we're definitely going to have to catch a bunch of Pokemon in uh in a later time. Because like I said, we need... Uh, we need at least third star rank to go to our next area. There we go. We'll take all that. We'll get the levels for my Pokemans. And I think it's almost time to evolve Cleaborn. Parasect over here. Alongside with, uh, what's the first stage? Paris and Parasect. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. More Carnivines. Uh, I could actually KO this thing. It's grass type. Might as well hook up my boy. No, no, no I didn't even see that tree. We're going to get some material first. And then we're going to fight him. And there's a Pseudo Wudo. <gasps> I definitely want that. I definitely want that. Pseudo Wudo, baby. Run it up. Run it up. We're just going to go for a strong style shot. I feel like this should be able to KO it all day. Let's rip through it. Hey, yo, Carnivine, do me a favor. Get out my game. I always thought this Pokemon was water and grass. But it turns out it was just grass. This just reminds me of kind of like a seaweed or something. So there's Pseudo Wudo. We got levels up for a Star Ravia, even though I don't really use it. two Pseudo Wudo. So it's not an alpha Pokemon. And some combis. I don't know if we have a combi in this game. Oh, <gasps> and that one's asleep. This should be an easy catch. It just fell asleep. I love it. I love it. Let's go here. This thing with a back shot. Yeet. Bang. That should be an easy catch. When they're asleep, their, their chance of catching is super, super high. So there it is. Big catch on Pseudo Wudo. I don't know if we have a combi yet. So I'm going to go catch this thing. I'm, oh, no, 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 no. You don't see me. Who sees me? Who's hitting me, dude? Oh, my lord. Combi, eat up, dude. Please don't see me, Combi. I'm poisoned, but you can eat. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I used the wrong. You know what? You're dead. We're killing this thing. Oh, wait. Does that thing see me? I don't know if it does. Oh, he's gone. Yo, this Paris. Thanks, Paris. You ruined my combi catch. You ruined my combi catch from you shooting stuff at me. You little biscuit. Okay, there's more combis. Hi, combi. I love combi. Such a cool Pokemon. Such a little soothing Pokemon. <laughs> I'll definitely give it an orange berry. Here you go, little buddy. I should give it honey. Why wouldn't I give it honey? I would not give that thing honey. But there we go. Toss that. Hit it with a back shot. That should be an easy catch. I don't know if we caught one before. Let's see. Oh, we did. We can actually catch one more for a Pokedex entry. Do I have honey on me? I could throw honey at it. I could throw honey. They're definitely big fans of honey, right? There's no way they're not big fans of honey. They're bees, man. They're bees. <laughs> there you go. He has honey. Bat. Hit him up there. And I want to fight this other one because that one should be a guaranteed catch right there. Back shot with honey. That's got to be its favorite food. It popped out. Maybe because I threw a Pokeball at or maybe because I'm fighting this other one. That's whack, but we'll take this one out all day. Get that one out of my face. We'll take the XP, and we'll get moving on towards that Noble Pokemon. But yo, I can't believe that thing popped out. And did I collect that side quest of, uh... I know there's a side quest of, uh, getting Roselia to its highest level. So I should actually catch up on these Roselias here and defeat them. Hello, Roselia. And I don't even know if I have Roselia in my thing. Roselia, how you doing, sweetheart? Come here, I got a Pokeball for you. Get in there. Get in there, Roselia. Please catch her. You're gonna die. I do catch it. Awesome. Number caught two. I need one more, so I'll catch this one right here. Ooh, this one's not looking towards me. Give me my Pokeballs out. And there's an Alpha Rosa Raid. 
I would love to catch it, but like those things definitely way too strong for me. I'll get back in this bush. Remember, if you don't go in that Pokeball, you're dead. You're dead. Run it. <laughs> Hit it with a back strike. This thing's dead. We're gonna kill it. Because I do need to get his Pokedex entry up to level 10. Regardless, I'm 100 percenting it. But there is a side quest. That I didn't pick up, but I know if I do this, I can kind of just pick it up and then hand it in and be done with it. Which is pretty, pretty cool. But level up for the Bidoof. I do not feel like evolving him. More medicinal leaks and Roserade, get out my face. I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. More Roserades here, and I don't think you've seen me. Which is awesome. Come here, Roserade. Wait, back shot? Yes, sir. All day. Back shot. Get out of my face. Remember, if you don't stay in there, you're dead. You're dead. Come here. Run it up. Run it up, girl. I'm taking you out. <laughs> I'm taking you out. Let's hit this thing with a flame wheel. And then get moving towards the noble Pokemon. Because I feel like what I think once we go up to that mountain, it's like, okay, time to face off with the noble Pokemon. There we go. Get some levels and ooh, time to catch another one. I'm trying to catch these things. Come here, girl. Maybe I should give it food, but we're just going to keep hucking Pokeballs at him. There's a ton here. Come on, you don't make me kill you like your friends. Yeah, that's what I thought. Number caught three. Amazing. That might have been the last one. That might have been the last one. I'll collect this medicinal leak. And what's that over there? Parasite. I, dude, I don't like those guys at all. I don't like them at all. But I can come over here and see if there's any Pokemon hanging out here. Any dudes hanging out here? Cricket Tots? Any cool bees? Any newbies over here? The Viva Choke. There's this. I'll take that all day. I'm about to evolve Cleavor right before we hit that mountainside. Let's get moving up here. Hello, Cricket How you doing? Oh, another medicinal leak, which I would love to grab. And some more berries. Berries? Awesome. Now we can head and go face off with our second noble Pokemon. But before that, like I said, I want to evolve my boy. I want to evolve my boy Scyther into Cleaver, who is going to be a big part of this team. So all I got to do is just give him this black Argue right right here. And bang, he evolves into one of the coolest new Pokemon in the game, Cleaver, dude. I love this thing. Two Axe Hands, Bug and Rock type. Come on. If you're playing this game and you don't have Cleaver on your team, that's a little whack. Cleaver's amazing. Look at him. He looks so sick. I love it. And let's see if he actually learned like any moves. So if I go to change moves, did he learn a rock move? He has Sword Stance. Stealth Rock hits in this game. It hits in this game. So I do want him to learn it over probably Air Slash. Yeah, let's confirm this. I can always uh, teach him Air Slash if he wants it. But yeah, Stealth Rock hits. It hits in this game. So I'm going to use it. Have a nice lovely rock move. Any other moves that you learned? Because it seemed like you had a lot of... No, I do not want to change your name. You're going to stay Cleavor. Seems like you had a couple other moves. Nope, these are all the moves. Sword Stance. Air Slash. Stealth Rocks hits for a base power of 40. It's physical. And this thing is a physical attacker. So Air Slash was probably the way to go with getting rid of that thing. Right? Yeah. Air Slash is special. Aerial Ace is physical. I love it. I'm with it all day. And it's weird. Double hit boosts your attack. A little weird. But we got my boy Cleaver chilling out here. I'm actually going to throw him out. Show it to you guys. Look at my dude! <laughs> <laughs> he looks amazing, but let's head up here and let's face off with our second noble Pokemon This Pokemon is actually really really cool. It's a really really cool Pokemon So cannot wait to showcase it for you guys and get ripping with it I think Cleaver can actually do some work on it with some aerial aces, but it's not flying type anymore It's not flying type anymore. So it's not stab But I believe the Pokemon that we're facing off with is fighting type Is it fighting and grass? It might be fighting and grass. It's a really cool Pokemon and it is a Hisuian form. I feel like all the uh all the noble Pokemon are Hisuian form Pokemon. But this one's cool. This one is a cool Pokemon. I was thinking of putting it on my team, but I have a better choice for it. I have a, a, definitely a better choice for this one. For our grass type, because this is it. I believe it's grass type Pokemon. But we head into this little Coliseum ruin, and this cool Pokemon's actually gonna hop out for us. I love all the new Hisuian forms. I think they're super, super cool. And this one is the one and only Lilligant, baby. Look at her. <laughs> Lilligant, all golden. Hisui Logan. I think it's really, really cool. But she kind of just like dances around and she uses really cool moves. So I cannot wait to showcase this battle. Cannot wait to showcase this noble battle for you guys. Dun, dun, dun. Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant. Yo, let's get after. So it's like the last battle with Cleaver. You throw your bombs out there. When it gets confused or like kind of like tired, you throw what's called at it. You throw your Pokemon at it, and then you can fight it. But she does these jumps right here. But she's going to jump up into the sky. And when she jumps up, I'm going to have to roll out and dodge these moves. Because look how close they come. And she does multiple of them. I think she does two right now. And then we, she's going to charge up again. So then in the meantime, we're just going to keep throwing bombs at her. So she jumps up again. And there she goes. Dodge. Then jump again. Dodge. And then she has another really cool move. So let's keep ripping up on her. Keep doing health. Can we get her down past that one fourth thing? There we go. She's down the one fourth. Then we're going to dodge. Jump again. Dodge. Get out of my face. And now, I think she does three jumps now. She's going to change up her little moving mechanics. Or is she going to use her other move? Oh, here's one jump. Oh, dodge that. Get out of my face. And here's the other move. 
but you have to do a leap over top of it, which is really, really cool. She's gonna do it again, and I'm gonna have to leap over top of it again and keep dodging. I got hit by it a couple times when I first first hit, but once you get used to the mechanics, it's kind of pretty simple to kind of just hop over it. Let's keep throwing these bombs, dodge the moves, dodge the moves, jump it again, dodge the moves, three time jump. Oh no, she's doing a four! And yo, we were able to leap at the leap at the perfect time. So now she's a little dazed, a little confused. We're gonna send out our cleavor into battle. And we're gonna get it after this. Things level 30. Poison powders me. Get out of my face. Poison powders me. I'm gonna fight it. And you know what? I could go for an aerial in this. Agile style too. Is it super effective? It is super effective. Let's go. We're gonna be able to get two turns here. So I'm gonna hit her with an agile style and move here. How much damage are you gonna do? Dude, Cleaver rips. He rips. He hits so hard. We can just go for a normal or aerial ace now. And this should take it out. Get some big damage on this thing. It's gonna be down on the ground. This guard is down. Now we can just launch bombs at it. Look how close we are. We can just rip up into it. So that's the perks of uh actually uh taking it out with a Pokemon. Get it. Get it. Got it down really, really low. This battle is almost over. We still haven't taken a hit yet. I might just jinx myself. But let's dodge. Let's see what she's doing. Oh, she's doing this one. Hey! Throw this at her. Hey! She's jumping again. I didn't think I didn't think she was gonna jump again. Keep hitting her. Can I KO you? Oh, she's gonna jump again. We out of here. Yo, dodge yo, dude. I love these battles, dude. That was so much fun. And I should be able to take it out from here, can I? Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. One more time. Oh, I miss it. We need one more hit on this thing. Hit you with that. Smoke you. And oh, we take a hit because I can't jump. Dang, dude. We were gonna have a perfect run. But I hit her and I went to dodge that. But after I did the last hit, it stopped me from moving at all. So I couldn't even jump. But there it is, yo. What a battle with our second noble Pokemon, Lilgan. And we take it out. We take it out, but yo, I love these cutscenes, man. They look phenomenal. What's good, Lil Gin? Oh, she looks awesome. Her colors are so good. Her colors are awesome. And none of my Pokemon died, which is great, which means all of them get 2,000 XP. 2,000, which is amazing. Which is just lovely. And she does a little spin dance. She's like, thank you. <laughs> we get the meadow plate from Logan. Amazing. Dope, dope, dope. And we'll keep moving on from here. So what we got to do from here is we actually unlock our third area after this. And we cannot actually go to our third area until we get three stars. So I don't think we're even close to three stars. So in the meantime, for the rest of the video, we're definitely just going to be rocking out, collecting a bunch of Pokemon and exploring this area and going back to the Obsidian Fieldlands and doing the uh, other areas that I haven't been to before to catch new Pokemon. I'm with it. I'm with it all day, baby. I'm with it all day. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's groove tonight. <laughs> so we just gotta catch a bunch of Pokemon as much as we possibly can. I was have to see if we finish Roselia. That is something I want to do is finish up Roselia. But there's still a bunch of areas in this spot that I haven't explored. And there's a few new Pokemon that I have to catch. So definitely want to hop on that. Explore this area. Run through it real quick. And then head back to the older area. Head back to the older area. But I cannot wait for the new one. But there we go. We have to report to Commander Kamado. That we uh, complete the mission, and he is the person that is uh that is actually uh back at Jubilee City. You guys know Commander Kamado. Let's head back here. I believe there is a place back here that actually has Turtwig. I do have to make a video for you guys on where to catch all the starters because I know you guys would absolutely love that. I definitely want to do other guides on the channel, but there is a spot back here that has Turtwig, and I forget where it's at. Is it over here? If I zoom in on the map, I feel like I can figure this one out. It's somewhere in this, maybe in this back area. It's down here. It's down here. That's exactly where it is. So if you guys want to find Turtwig, we're actually going to go head over to it right now. Because hopefully he's there. Hopefully he's chilling there. Hopefully he's hanging out. And should we head down here? I feel like we have to head down here, right? What is up here? Is there anything up here? We're in a nice little area here. Get some wood. I'll take wood all day. We got in this bush. Uh, this is just back at that section. But yeah, we got to head down here. There's some carnivines. There's all that good stuff. And let's just get a move on. Let's get a move on. And my weird ear takes damage. Of course it does. Can I hop off this thing? There it is. I'm gonna get this, and then we'll hop right back on it. So, I think we're going the right way, right? No, we want to head up here and around. Is there a way to go through it? Oh, we have to go up through this area. Okay, got it. So, we're gonna go head back to this, uh, to that diamond area. The diamond hideout, whatever it was called. With all the huts. So, we'll, we'll cook in a super speed here, and then we want to make, like, a hard left. Oh, why do I keep going back? I'm gonna go this way. This way. So is there a mountain here? Oh, I thought we were going to jump off. Here's all the ride-ons that we were reversing off. Here's the Diamond Heath. And let's check the map real quick. Yeah, we're heading the right way. We just want to make a hard left now. Hard left upwards that way. And there's an Alpha Ride-on. That's pretty cool. 
Alpha Ride on Shonir. And this should be the way we want to go. There's some Carnivines. There should be like an exit right through here. Yep. And am I going the right way? I am indeed. So now I can just loop around this lake. But yo, you guys haven't seen this lake yet. It is Lake Valor where you can catch, I think, Uxie and Diamond and Pearl. So I wonder if you catch them later in the game. I hope so, dude. Because the lake's looking sick. The lake's looking definitely sick. Hop out here. Let's roll. Onward. If I see any new Pokemon, I am going to catch it. I might actually kill some combis. I'm going to start completing in my Pokedex. Yeah, we can do that all day. We can do that all day. We can complete the combis because we're definitely going to want some more XP. Level 19. That's it. Wow. We're ripping through these guys. We'll level Koala. 31. Bob's at like 36 and we get his Hisui and Typhlosion. That could be really, really cool. And what you just drop? Dazzling Honey. Some Dazzling Honey. But let me check my Pokedex on my combi. Where are you at, combi? I know I have you somewhere here. Where are you at, Mrs. Combi? Where are you? There it is. Okay, so combi, I need to defeat one more. Catch another one will be good. Uh, times you've seen it use Gust. Different ones we obtain, so we only have one. Number of times it leaped out of the tree. Numbers I evolved. So I want to actually defeat one more and catch one more. So I can actually do that right here. Hello, combi. I'll actually kill this one. You're going to get it, buddy. You're getting it. <laughs> this combi's getting it for sure. Poor combi. Keeping his guard up. Do not run, thank you. Sometimes when it says they're keeping their guard up, they just they just dip. And they, they, they run. There we go. Take out that combi. And I got to catch this one. So let me give this one honey. Let me give this one honey. Here you go. Honey for my honey, yo. Hey, yo, chill on me, combi. Where's my honey at? There we go. Dazzling honey. I know you like it. I know you like the honey, yo. Yeah. Eat up, big dog. Later, you're definitely getting caught there. And I'll take my honey back. Can I take my honey back? Oh, no, it disappears. There we go. Caught the combi. There's two missions done for that thing. Onward now. Onward, jeans. Got some rocks. Keep collecting minerals and keep rolling. But yeah, I definitely want Turtwig. Turtwig could definitely be cool. There's a carnivine here. Um, Let's roll. Hello, combi. Haunters. We have caught a haunter. I don't think I defeated one yet, though. We'll take that. A caster fern. Lovely. Hello, combi. How you doing? I should have probably caught that combi. And yo, go bat. Show me, Golbat. I'll kill you, actually. I'll actually kill you. Yeah, yo. Let's fight, yo. Let's fight, yo. You want the smoke, Golbat? We got a rock Pokemon now. We got we got Cleavor over here. Dude, this thing is a beast. And of course, he puts me to sleep. Makes me all drowsy. But I just love looking at him. He looks so sick. He looks so sick. We got Stealth Rock, which is now a hitting move this game, which is awesome. And Stealth Rock does some big old damage to Golbat. He's going to go into... What move is he going to do? Cross Poison. Which I'm able to just soak up. Look at that, yo. Stealth Rock is good. It does damage at the end of every single turn. We're still slumped. He's going to hit us here. We're going to be able to eat it up. Or we just dodge it. Stealth Rock should be able to kill it, right? Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Loving it. Loving it, yo. Give me that XP. Give me all that XP. Another Golbat's here. And you know what? I'm going to catch this Golbat. Come here, boy. I'm going to catch this Golbat because we don't have a Golbat yet in our Pokedex. So let me catch it just so I can get the rank points, all that good stuff. Hopefully, we go first. Use his bite. That's going to do some big damage. Can I Agile style and maybe go twice? I cannot. I'm just going to hit this thing with a strong style. Get ripping into him. What's goody, dude? What's goody? This might actually kill it. We'll see. Oh, the Stealth Rock's damage is definitely going to kill it. Blight's going to come out here. We dodge it. Don't kill it. Bring it down to one on red. We'll take the XP, though, if it does kill it. It does. God dang it. I really want to catch it. Let me drop a Chesto Berry. A lovely Chesto Berry. Good thing we have another chance here. But I should heal up my... uh, I should heal up my boy here. My Cleavor. Love this, dude. This Pokemon's so sick. So we heal him up a little bit. Actually, I'll give him another one. We'll give Daddy Cleaver another one. Big part of our team. Level 28, yo. I'm loving it. Let me hop down from here. I know we're going to get spotted anyway, so I might as well not even try to sneak up on it. We might as well just fight this thing regardless. Just get right after him and do the battle that way. So note to self, do not use strong style here. Use a normal style shot here. And hopefully it doesn't take him out. I think that rock should bring him down to like 1 HP. Really, really low. He's going to use Bite. We took that up all day. Please don't kill him, South Rocks. It does a lot of damage. What is going on, dude? South Rocks OP. South Rocks is so good up against flying types. It's ridiculous. Guava, here you go. Get that. Oh, there's a Geodude in here. Or Graveler. <laughs> or Graveler. This thing's going to leap out of me. I'm running. I'm not dealing with it. We out of here. We out of here. Let's go get that turret wig, dude. At least we're seeing some new Pokemon, catching some new Pokemon. And we just got one that popped out of an ore deposit. That actually goes towards a thing. And here's another chance to catch this thing. Maybe I'll throw out Koala. Not yet. We're throwing out my boy. Maybe go through for an agile shot. I think going for an agile shot with Stealth Rocks will be better. It will do less damage. This thing's level 25. Let's do it. Let's fight it. Go for an agile shot. Let's do it. Is that a regular shot? Oh no, it just dodges my moves, man. Just dodge it. This thing goes for hypnosis and it lands it. Get out of my face. 
Get out my face. We get a little drowsy here. Let's go for that agile shot here. Get after it. Drops his base stats, yo. And what do you mean you miss? Twice? Twice? Twice we miss. Good to know. Good to know that we miss. Agile style popping out here. Stealth Rocks, how much damage are we doing? Cool, that's gonna kill it. Stealth Rocks gonna dig into it. Do not kill my Kalibor. Wait, can we eat that? Don't. Get out my face. Dude. Get out my face. Hate this game. Hate this game a lot. Stones dig into it. Do some damage. We'll bring out the Qualva. And we're gonna throw a Pokeball on this. A lovely. Lo oh, dude, we have no revives. We have no revives right now. I have to craft more. We have no revives. We have to stop facing off with Pokemon, man. I have to stop doing this because I have to go catch this, this lovely little turtle. Dude. Hopefully he's spawning there and dude, if he if he goes to kill my Koala, we're gonna be in trouble. Do not do more than half. He dodges it. Cool. We dodge and Stealth Rock's gonna take it out. God dang Stealth Rocks, dude! We'll catch it. We'll catch a gold bat another time. We'll definitely catch a gold bat another time. But we have no revives. I'm gonna keep moving on here. Switch to him, and I love to grab this uh tumblestone right here. So I'm just gonna do that. And how close are we on the map? We just have to keep making our way down here. I believe there's like no other really new Pokemon here. There's some gold bats. That's it. Here's this. Go here. More gold bats. I'm not going to try to catch one. We'll definitely get one another time. Gold bats are definitely one of those Pokemon that spawn again at night. There's an Alpha Carnivine chilling here. Let's just keep rolling. Like I said, we pretty much have all these Pokemon here. There's Pokemon in that bush. I'm not dealing with any of these things. Oh my god. Alpha Vesper Queen spawns here too. Wow. A lot of Alpha Pokemon that we can't really do much about. We shall keep moving forward. We need these berries now. There's a Whisper over there that I kind of want to get. And, oh. Do we jump? Do I jump? Oh, I can just hop down here. Cool. Let's check the map real quick. We keep making our way here. Keep on moving, baby. There's a Wisp. I would love to get that Wisp. How far? Oh, it's right up here. Cool. Luckily, we didn't hop down. What is that down there? That kind of looks like a Togepi, doesn't it? But it's not. Is it a Togepi? It is a Togepi. Good eyes, Jeans. Jeans spotting the Togepis, man. Catch that. Uh, can we fight it from up here? Shoot, there was another one over here, wasn't there? No, that's a Viva Choke. Togepi. I want it. I want it. Oh, there's Lil Gans down there, too. We gotta go down there and catch those guys, right? We get this Wisp. Yo, there's Lil Gans. There's Togepi. Dude, how'd I miss a Togepi? I would love to get a Togepi. There's Pachirisu's down there as well. I saw Pachirisu. There's a... Is that a Togepi? Oh, dude, I can't believe I saw a Togepi. Can I sneak? I gotta get in the grass. There is a... Patch Reese here, which I would love to hit with this Pokeball. No, no. I'm out of here. Please do not see me. I'm hiding in this grass. Okay, no one sees me. Patch Reese doesn't see me again. Awesome. Is he leaving? Where's he going? Come on, get this berry, Patch Reese. I would love to catch you. I need to catch you, and I need to catch my that little Ganth over there. And hopefully another Togepi spawns. Throw that. Come on, catch it. Please, please. Let's go. Okay, so Pachirisu. Oh, we already caught one before. There's a little Ganth here. Please don't hit that Haunter. Thank you. Can I catch you, please? Let's go. Little Ganth caught. Little Ganth caught. And there's no other Togepi's. But it's good to know that Togepi does spawn over here. I'm actually going to battle this one right here. I'm going to battle this one right here. Just pick up the KO. It should be... Oh, level 36. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Level 36. God dang. Level 36. Wow. There's no more Togepi's? Get out of my face, dude. I really wanted a Togepi. I really wanted a Togepi. Add it to my Pokedex. But it's good to know that uh, she does spawn over here. A little Togepi spawn over here. But well, we're in the Drowning Meadowlands. Getting pretty close to our destination. Then we're going to head back to the main area. Really, really good. Okay. Let's get moving through here. Hold on, B. Yo, is that a Yamega? I think sick. Alpha Yamega. We're seeing a bunch of cool Alpha Pokemon here. A bunch of cool Alpha Pokemon. But nothing we haven't really seen before. We got here Ghastly's Haunters. Anything cool that I really want? But I think we're at the area. No, we're getting close to it though. I do not want to throw there's Pokemon in a tree. And oh my dude, that thing's huge. I want to mess with it. And this is the area that I want to head to. Is there a Turtwig over here? Oh, there he is. The long awaited Turtwig. Turtwig! What's goody? I gotta catch this thing. I thought it was Scratch. I thought it was Scratch. Paris sees me. See if I can just throw a Pokeball at this Turtwig over there. Turtwig, do not see me. He sees me. Looks like we're battling you. 
Let's not go battle on you because I gotta catch this thing. I gotta catch this thing. I have to catch this thing. I don't even think I can hit it. Can I just throw a Pokeball? <gasps> you son of a biscuit. Are you kidding me? My turn wig left? My turn wig left. No, I really wanted that. Can turn wig respawn? Turtwig will definitely respawn, but I would have to like go there and back all the way back to here, man. No way. We'll definitely get a Turtwig another day. We will definitely get a Turtwig another day. It is all good. But hey, we went over here. We spotted some new Pokemon. At least we get them to get the Adam to like our spotting Pokedex. But of course that Paris, yo. Of course that Paris messes up everything for me. Everything for me. I'm just looking at it. It spotted me and it shot me. God dang Paris. God dang Paris. But we can talk to our guy right here. Cash in all of our Pokemon that we have to report and see how many points we're going to get. That's Studo Wudo, which is cool. A lot of different new Pokemon. 4,111 Poke Dollars. And let's see how close we are to uh, level 3. Look at that. We got Roselia. What level is she on? 8. So we're close to finishing that up. Patrice is kind of high. Maybe we just got the level 9. Stunky's on level 9. That's cool. Cleaver's getting up there. Patil. All that good stuff. Okay. How many points are we getting? 490. So we're getting close to where we want to get. We gotta go head back to the village and report it. Okay. So we gotta go report in. And what I have to do now is actually just go and get 400 points. Which shouldn't be too hard just by exploring the Obsidian Highlands. And hopefully we get to do it by the end of uh, today's video. But we have a little bit of a cutscene. It's all good. No big deal. No big deal for jeans. Not a big deal. We got Benny over here. Hey, Benny. How you doing, big dog? He's telling me I should come through and get some dinner after I do the report. You got it, man. You got it. But dude, that's so whack, bro. That is so whack that I didn't get that turret wig. That turret wig could have been some big points. And let's see if we can actually upgrade our satchel a little bit. Always love to upgrade this one. Yeah, we'll upgrade it once. That's about it. 5,000 Poke Dollars. God dang, yo. God dang. A lot of money. A lot of money to be spent on that. The next one's probably like 7,500. If I, if I had to guess, yo, 7,500 probably, right? Let's roll up and let's get cooking. Second floor, baby. To the third. We have a lot of side quests in here. Which I, maybe I should start picking up. Probably do that in the next episode. Right now, we're just cooking through the main story. Doing some work. Hello, Commander Kamado. How you doing? How you doing? But, yo, I'd say it's a pretty successful episode. Killed a noble Pokemon. Got Cleavor. Got a bunch of new Pokemon. And we're still going to go catch some more Pokemon and unlock a new area. There we go. Complete that one. And now he's like, yo, you got to head to a new area. And I'm like, all right, dude. Let me be. Let me be. I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. Let's see what he says. Oh, no. Like I said, we got to go back to this dinner place. Why are we always having dinner? Man? Get out of my face. But my Pokemon are pretty decent level. 32 and 29. They'll definitely be both in the 30s by the time we head to the new area, which is great. And I believe the uh, new... Oh, we got scatter bags. Cool. But I believe the new area has higher level Pokemon, like level 30. So as long as we can get to level 30, we should be thriving there. But you guys know I'm a big fan of beach areas. The next area is a beach area. And I believe we get the brand new Pokemon Basque Legion to ride on. Which is great, because then we can backtrack and go to other areas, like in the Crimson Mirelands. There's a spot that we couldn't get to without riding across with uh, Basque Legion or any water Pokemon, which Basque Legion is the only one you can ride across with. So, by obtaining that, we're going to be able to thrive and just get rolling. Just get rolling. Well, let's see, uh, let's see what these people want. Uh, they're just saying, hey, yo, the hairdresser place is all open. If you want to come here, you can do that. And then Commander Kamado comes over here. It's like, yo, jeans. What are you doing mess with hair, yo? Get on the mission. I sent you to do something. I'm like, all right, dude. But he says, will you come to us to Prelude Beach? Oh, yes, sir. Prelude Beach, baby. But it's on, like, this coastline area, which is awesome. So that's what we have to do. Oh, no, this is Prelude. Okay, I forgot. We got a little cutscene here, which we go back to Prelude Beach. And this is the first beach that we actually went to, which is really, really cool. Which is really, really cool. So it goes back here. It has a little cutscene. It shows, like, new people, and they talk about... All the weird stuff that's going on with the land, like the lightning, the rifts, the dimensional things. There's all this crazy stuff. But this is where it all began. We just showed up on this island, fell out the sky, and now we're a top-tier Pokemon trainer riding on deers and stuff, which is dope. But the worst part about this is you come all the way back here for this cutscene, and now watch. After you come all the way here for this cutscene, Commander Kamado's like, yo, go back now. It's hilarious. He doesn't even... He, he brings you all the way out here. You guys will just see. You guys will just see. Bump. 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 Let me go. Okay, so the Pearl Clan Alliance. There's Akari. I love Akari. She's such a cool character. I love her design, too. I think her outfit looks sick. With her hair coming down on the sides. They just did her design perfectly. 
But like I said, now we have to go to the uh look, so we so we make our way all the way here, which is crazy. We make our way all the way here just to run all the way back to the commander's office. Isn't that stupid? And there's nothing here. There's nothing here. They don't bring me back there. I have to go all the way back up to that third floor. But this is where we ever, it all started. Here's the practice field where we call it Oshawa. What the, What is that? Why is it get, What is going on here? Why is the game glitching? What is this? Oh my lord, that was whack. That was whack. And we got a side quest right here, which I actually want to talk to this guy. It's called Big Buizel. And I did this one in my other one, and all you have to do is catch a big enough Buizel for this guy. And I wonder if we have one. Let's see. <laughs> we need a bigger Buizel than him. 2.8 inches. So I'll pick it up, and we'll actually see if we have it. We'll see. Where's my Buizels at? Are any of these Buizels bigger than 2.8? Let's see. Looking for a bigger one. So that one's not it. Try this one. Hopefully one of these are it. Nope. Come on. One more. Last try. Yeah, third time's a charm. Do we have it? Probably not. Level two. No way he's that big. Yeah, get out of my face. So we'll definitely catch another Buizel and we'll try to go back and give it to him. But yo, isn't that whack? We had to go all the way here. We had to go all the way back to Prelude Beach just to go all the way back to the top spot over here. Like, come on, man. Making me climb all three floors. It's so stupid. It is so stupid. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. At, at least spawn me, like, back here in the town. Don't make me run seven miles in my sandals. I'm not even wearing running sneakers in my sandals. Don't make me run seven miles in my sandals to do this. It's absurd. It's absurd. Well, let's keep moving on here. Go to that second floor and get ripping. Get ripping. Doo -doo. Or the third floor. The third floor. Hey, how you doing, dog? Third floor, baby. So we talk to the Pearl Clan. We get ripping here. And I believe our boss guy is going to come up here. Our boss lady. The galaxy person that gives us star rankings, all that stuff. But let's see. Come on, just send me out. Because I'm not even the third star rank. We can just talk in later. Oh, I've been recording for. Okay, so not too bad. Not too bad time. We have a few We have a few more minutes to actually go out there, catch more Pokemon, and try to get that level three, which I would love. Which I would love. But yeah, we go back down to this corpse guy, and he's like, yo. He tells us straight up. He said, you're not allowed to go to the new area unless you're third star rank. So that's what he tells us. Yep, you must be at least third star ranks to tackle on the coastline. I'm like, thank you so much. So he's like, go defeat Pokemon, do task, all that good stuff. And I kind of like, I really do like the uh, star rankings. I really do like the star rankings. I honestly do. It gives you incentive to kind of collect Pokemon, catch them, and all that good stuff. So it's like, okay, you're not allowed to move to this area until you catch some more Pokemon. And like, that's what Pokemon's all about. And we haven't really had a Pokemon game like this. Where it's just like, yo, go out there, catch Pokemon. And like the other ones, it's like, oh, you could catch Pokemon. There's a small reward for it, a shiny charm at the end. But that's about it. But we're going to head back to uh, the Obsidian Fieldlands, our first area, and catch new Pokemon or new species, new sizes that we haven't caught before. And I believe there is a few. I can actually head this way, and I actually want to go... I want to go here. Actually, do we have this... Do we have quests done for these people? Actually, they're not here, so we must have done them. We must have did them already, so let's get a move on. Is there any area that I haven't explored yet? The Horseshoe Plains over here we haven't explored yet, so might as well go to it. Let me catch a few Buizels on the, on the side, too. I'm with it all day. And then I want to head to the other side. So I'm Sphinx here. How you doing, Sphinx? I'm gonna move on. And I'm gonna keep collecting these medicinal leaks. I'm gonna keep collecting them. Hop off here. Well, I'll go do that. Get moving. Medicinal leaks. There's some shiny stone over here. Stardust. All that good stuff. And any Buizels. I would love to just catch. <gasps> I don't have a Punita. Punita! What's good, girly? What doing? I do not have you. Come here. I'd love to catch you. Please. Please catch it. Yes, sir. Ponita. New Pokemon. Love it. Love it. Good old Ponita, baby girl. I mean, that Stardust. It's going to move on. More Ponitas. I actually want to catch another Ponita. Hi, Ponita. Here you go. Ponita, yo. I haven't seen a Ponita yet. It's so cool to actually hop over here and find one. Catch another one. Dope, dope, dope. So Punita added to our decks. Oh, and we caught a heavy one too. What is that? That's a Starly. Starlita. Worms. I don't care about you, Worms. Get out of my face. Badoofs, don't care about you. Any any new Pokemon down here? Or Buizels, because like I said, we have we have a Buizel side quest. We have a side quest to rock out with the Buizels. More Wurmples. 
Do this. And onward. Onward we go. <gasps> Mime Jr. Mime Jr. Come here, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you something to eat, dude. You hungry, aren't you? And I'm gonna sneak up behind you. Yeah, eat. Eat. Now get out my face. Times you giving that food once. Come on, yo. Catch me a mime junior. Next time I get to a crafting station, we have to go to a uh We have to get what's it called? We have to craft more Pokeballs. But there we go. Kinda explore this area. Is this a new area? Yeah. Alright, so we explore that area. I wanna catch these weasels real quick. A, they'll go towards my Pokedex, and then B, we need a bigger one for a side quest. Can I snipe him from here? I don't want to take the risk. I know you don't see me. Son of a biscuit. Ah, I'm see I'm out of here. I'll catch different weasels. I'll catch different weasels. We're going to head on to this side, and we're going to head to that, uh, back up to that base camp up high. And then go explore that side of the, the areas. So we can catch... <gasps> Eevee, I gotta catch it. I gotta catch it. Come here, Eevee. Two Eevees. Two Eevees. I didn't even know Eevee spawns here. I would love to catch two. So then we can evolve them. I have stones and stuff. I should just be able to throw a Pokeball at it, right? I didn't know Eevee spawns here. Yes, sir. Catch it. Catch it. Let's go, yo. Eevee, add it to the squad. I'll catch this other one, too. It's still here. Where'd it go? There you are. Come here, Eevee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, catch all the Eevees because there's so many Eeveelutions. There's Sylveon in this game, too. Oh, Eevee ran away. At least we caught one. At least it's not like the Turtwig. The Turtwig ran away, and I was very upset. But, yo, Eevee spawns here. Yes, sir. Run it up. Run it up. Let's get that. And let's just keep moving. If I see Buizels, I'll get them, but I won't go out my way to catch a Buizel. Like, there's one right there. I'll catch this one. Here, Buizel. There's no berry for you. Come on, Buizel. Yeah, yeah, I'm not dealing with these birds. <laughs> we'll do it another time. We shall do it another time. We already have a shiny Bidoof, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna go here. You know what? I'm just gonna go quick travel now. Actually, let me get this material first. Is that an Alpha Shinx? Oh, I throw him real Pokeballs. It's fine. We're just gonna fast travel up to this one right here. I could fast travel to the, uh, the Grand Tree. It's pretty cool, but I'm gonna fast travel to this heights camp right here craft a few more pokeballs craft a few more revives and then finish up with today's video Okay, so pokeballs 31's awesome and then give me some revives and no, We'll craft like we'll Do that and then I, I do need some potions Beautiful beautiful, okay, let's get a move on here. I hop out. Uh, I actually should are my Pokemon full HP? They are. Okay, let's roll. Onward, jeans. Onward. Okay. So, I actually want to show you guys something super, super cool. You come over to these mountainsides. First of all, we're looking for any new Pokemon over here. I actually did have a... I think... It, I don't know if it was in this game. No, it was in my a stream game. A Monferno can spawn over here. Did we catch a Stantler? Try to catch a Stantler here. I thought they were 10 years away. Oh, and we got a catch on it. Can we catch that? That'd be awesome. That is awesome. But I came over here in uh in my stream playthrough and you can find Monferno here. So I'm wondering if you can find like Chimchar or something. Chimchar would be a cool grab. Yeah, Monferno spawns here. There's another Stantler. There's a rock here. Like this, and I guess nothing else spawns that we need. So we out of here. Hello Stantler, how you doing? How you doing, Sandler? But I want to head towards this area over here because I want to show you guys something really, really cool. And I caught this this cool Pokemon on stream. Let's see if he spawned here and I can catch him here. It'll be absolutely amazing. I do have to kind of like get up on this rock. Can I hop up on here? Can I hop up on here? But there's a way to go around here. I think I got to hop up on this one. Get up here. It's over towards this mountain, I think. I think if we head over towards this mountain, you can see it. I think this is where I caught him at. Somewhere over here. And there he is. That's what I caught. And I caught him actually right here. It's a Gyarados flying in the sky. <laughs> Look at him. And I caught him right here. You come up here and you don't have a feather ball. You can actually like scoot towards the edge here. And where'd he go? There he is. Okay. You can actually scoot towards the edge here. And if you throw a Pokeball perfectly, you can catch him. I'm going to give it a few tries. If we don't catch him, we don't catch him. I'll definitely catch him later. But it's so funny trying to catch him. You can scoot right here. And he cooks. 
Oh my god, we just missed him. So this is a spot. Like right here is the spot. So when he flies, you want to like lead him and throw it in the air. We're gonna go. We're gonna hit him two times. That's that's our plan. We're gonna hit him two times for you guys, and see if we can get this boy in our Pokédex. Let's see, so right here is gonna be a throw. Once I see him on screen, pop. Got him! Come on, catch him. No, he pops out. So you can honestly just keep going with it. Once you get it down, it's pretty simple. There's a Star Raptor too that you can actually do this on. It's really, really cool. It's really, really cool. But yeah, you, you originally need like the jet ball or... Yeah, I think it's the jet ball. You throw it in a straight line so you can smoke this thing. Shoot, we missed. We need it higher. We need it higher. All right, yo. This next throw goes out to all my subscribers on the YouTube channel. Each and every one of you guys. This next throw goes out to you guys. Watch this. This is how we get it done. We're going to get it done here. This throw goes out to you guys. Catch it. Catch it. God dang it. Can I hit him again quick? So he just keeps flying. I'll hit him one more time because, you know, third time's the charm. But it's just hilarious to see a Gyarados flying. He is a flying type, and we never see him in any Pokemon games flying, which is hilarious. Which is hilarious. Let's go here. Let's try to catch him up. Come here, dude. Yoy. Went through him. I'm done with him. All right. If you guys want to catch him, he's right there. Really, really cool. Just wanted to showcase that to you guys. That's hilarious. He is a pain, though. He is a pain, though. Here's a Star Raven. Any newbies over here? Any newbies that we can catch? Just looking to catch a Pokemon. You know, I'm just going to start catching a bunch of Pokemon I see. <gasps> Pichus! Do I have a Pichu? I have a Pikachu, I think, in this game. I'll definitely catch the Pikachu again. Definitely catch the Pikachu again. With that thing, there's a Pik Pikachu sleeping. Yes, we call Pichu. Brand new form. See if I can just smoke this up Pikachu right here. While he's sleeping. And I might kill this up Pichu here. We call Pikachu. Awesome. Hey, get out of my face. Where the heck you go? Where's my Cleaver? That's our second Pikachu we caught. But yo, I would love to catch another Pichu. Pichu spawn here. Or I can kill it. It's gonna run. It ran. God dang it. It ran away. But like I said, if you want to catch Star Raptor, Star Raptor also spawns over here. Star Leaves and everything. And I can teach you guys how to do this one too. Which I'll do it real quick. I'll give it one chance. I'll give it one chance. But what you have to do is come to this edge right here. See this little peak right here? And you have to scoot. This how to do it without a jet ball. Scoot like an inch until you're floating. Until you're legit floating. I think I can go like another inch. We fell off. God dang it. <laughs> we fell off. But you scoot there until you're like floating. And I kid you not, you'll be floating. In the air like a tad bit. I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to do it for you guys. Showed you guys how to catch a Gyarados. We're going to show you guys how to do this one. Wait till my, actually, my heart goes down. My health goes back up. But we'll do this. Get this. And you go to this edge. See this little peak here? And you're going to scoot. You're going to scoot, scoot until you're floating. This is pretty good. Yeah, see how I'm floating? I'm legit floating on the edge. So now that I'm floating on the edge, we're going to pull out our Pokeball. And it's all about leading with this guy. So Raptor's going to fly here. I caught him in my stream play through without a jet ball. This is how you get him early. You can go here and you just time this thing just right. And then you just huck it. That was an awful throw. We have to throw it a bit straighter. Like right here is good. Right here should be good. I'm going to hope to actually just hit it at least once for you guys. Just to prove to you guys that, you know, you can actually do this. So let's make this happen, jeans. Maybe a little bit higher. Right here, I think it is. But yeah, you can hit this thing. You can totally just smoke this thing, get it going. Love it. Love it. But yeah, you got to be floating. <laughs> How I am. All right, let's get it higher here. Right here should be the throw. I hit it. I hit it, but it didn't count. What is that? I, I, I That never happened to me before. I hit it, but it didn't count. That's weird. We got some Starlies up here. I think we're just going to go cash in our Poke Pokemon and see if we have enough levels. And if not, I'll just do this off screen and we'll level up the next one. I think that sounds like a plan. Let's head back here to the base camp. Go talk to our boy. What is his name? Professor Vallastone? I totally forget his name. Leviton Vallastone. <laughs> there we go. Bunch of new Pokemon. How many points are we going to get for this? We get good money. Did we get enough to get rank star three? Would be lovely. How many points are we gonna get? Yeah, Pikachu level ten too. That's actually really good. That should give us a good amount of points. Three thirty. So we're seventy points away. I'll definitely do that off screen, and we can head to the third area in the next episode. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go go live. As the next episode, we're gonna be taking on the third area. 
I forget what's called some coastland, but the beach area. So hopefully you guys are excited for that one and maybe taking on another noble Pokemon. Maybe, maybe not, but hopefully unlocking Basque Legion to ride on this back in the water. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.